Dude, it's the Power Rangers. So this guy, I think, sells for like 25 plus. Guys, this thing is selling for like 40 to 50-ish. Insane. This Transformers game is super hard to get. I am Optimus Prime. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of the $10 Game Collection Season 2. Season 2. We are on the quest to build the biggest Nintendo 64 collection possible, starting out with just a $10 bill. And then at the end of this series in December, we are going to give the entire collection away. In our first episode, we left off with $18.51 in the game fund and two items to resell. We had an Xbox, Duke Controller, and Fight Night Round 2 for the GameCube. We sold both of those items on a live stream on Whatnot. After fees and shipping, we made $55, making our grand total $73.51 in the game fund. That is a pretty healthy budget to go out there and find some more games. I don't want to waste any time, so let's get straight into the hunt. So just a side note, this is actually footage from the week before and I forgot to add it in, so here it is. All right, Adam and I are hanging out, trying to find some good stuff, man. We need we need some stuff right now to flip. That's the name of the game right now. We gotta find stuff to flip because we have like barely any money in the game fund. Now, what's crazy about this right here, this is a movie that I actually sold at the beginning of the first season of the ten dollar game collection we sing in sillyville now that is why i'm cracked you see i'm a nut 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 i think back then i sold this for like 20 22 bucks right now it's selling for around like 13 which means after you pay shipping uh that's, that's 13 free shipping so after i do free shipping you know 15 percent and you pay two bucks for this i want to make like four or five bucks so gonna pass on that right here is a wrestling game this would sell decently, but look at this guy. Look at this guy. Woo! Rough. So this, I think this sells for around the same. Loose, it's like 11 or 12. And then there is Plants vs. Zombies. It sells for like six or seven. So unfortunately, this is close. This right here is really, really close to buying and flipping. But right now, we need to make a little more than five or six bucks. So I'm gonna pass. Okay, Adam just found this little, like, Fisher Price remote control thing. Well, you might not know this, but you can put in the Contra Konami code and show them what happens. You win! Whoa! A little, uh, nod to some Nintendo. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. The Konami code is the most famous cheat code of all time. As Fisher oh, Price knows what's up. See, I did not know this, but Adam did. <laughs> all right, a couple things to look at right here. The first is one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid, dude. Galaxy Quest. So this is Tim Allen, Sigourney Weaver. I I loved I loved this movie back in the day. I liked all of, like the weird Tim Allen movies. Uh, Jungle to Jungle. This one I just I loved them all huge Tim Allen fans. We got two two games here, Puppy Love and this Avatar game. So these are unmarked. Two bucks for this. Now this is like right in that spot where it's like, is it worth getting to flip? I think the last couple have sold for around 12, 10 to 12. So there's a little bit of money there, not like a ton, but for two bucks and where we're at with you know the $10 game collection, this is definitely worth at least trying to flip. You know, not a, not a ton of meat there, but still, we found a game and we can make a little bit of money. So I'm gonna pick this up for two bucks. All right, at Goodwill right now, and guys, there's like nothing, a couple cool VHS kind of like buried in here, but nothing really that, that I need. But I did see one thing that was pretty sweet. This right here, underground jam pack. Oh my gosh. Winner 2001. Look at these games. You got Jack and Daxter, uh, SSX Tricky, Final Fantasy X, Tony Hawk 3. Oh, do you guys remember demos? I love demos so much. 
such a thing of the past, this would be like laughed at by kids now. It's like, what do you mean? You have a disc with just a couple like games that you can play for four minutes. That's so dumb. It's like, no, this is sick. This is amazing. I remember getting these in like uh, different magazines and then also like Pizza Hut. Do you guys remember demos? Tell me down below. What was your, what, what's your best memory of demos? Your most memorable memory of video game demos? Tell me down below. All right, so this might not look like much, but this is good. This is good. Check this out. Look at all these games down here. Uh, this Goodwill notoriously has just not had very many games as of late. But right here, we got a bunch of games, uh, all unmarked. Well, these are these are marked. These are marked four, and all these are unmarked. So these will be two. Uh, we got Astro Bean right here for the Wii, and I believe that this one is complete. Complete. Not a ton of them in here, but good uh, trade bait we could trade this into the game store and get at least a decent amount of trading credit or flip this so two bucks for astro boy just dance four would be a good one to pick up if it, was, if it wasn't four bucks if this was two definitely would be a good one to get over the head unfortunately just does not have much value um, but you know, just gonna pass on that gonna pass on thrillville but these right here these are the ones I want to look at. So we got Naruto Ultimate Ninja 3, and I believe this is complete. It is. So this guy, I think, sells for like 25 plus complete. So definitely gonna get that for two bucks. Just a great game. Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger. Really great game. I actually played this more on GameCube. Maybe last year, I think I actually played through most of that game. Good one to pick up for two bucks. Uh, anytime you see a crash game for two, you gotta get it. Wrath of Cortex. Not a ton of value here. There's not a ton of value, but again, trade bait for that uh, with that one. And then we got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Platinum Hit Edition, uh, worth about ten or so. So we're gonna pick up all of these five games for ten bucks. Again, Just Dance Four would've been a good one to get if it was two, but. It's okay. This right here, let me see, what's what's the value on that? Yeah, 10, 20, maybe 60 bucks or so in value right there for $10. Let's go. So we are at a game exchange right now. I was just here and I found some stuff I wanted to pick up and then my phone died. So I had to go home and get a little bit of a charge on my phone. I'm out here with my buddy boy, Hey. Hey. Can you say it? Everybody wants you to say it. Baby. No, everybody wants you to say, for my son. For my son. For my son. Oh, okay. That was a little, that was a little different variation of it. All right, let's go in. A couple things to pick up, including our very first N64 game for the $10 game yeah. collection. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these games down here if I could. Uh, I think I'm gonna get the Yu-Gi-Oh one that's down here. I'll, I'll take a look at that uh, Pac that Pac-Man game as well again. We for sure want this one, right? Yeah, let me see that one again. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get that, and then I'm gonna look at an N64 game. Okay. Got some Mario figures. Look at this one. What is it? Transformers. Transformers. I love Game Exchange. All right, I'll show you guys the N64 games that they got right now. Some pretty, some pretty decent ones. This Transformers game is super hard to get. Transmetals 110, not quite in our budget. And you guys see it right there, Star Fox 64. 20 bucks is a great deal on that. So we're gonna get that as our first game in the $10 game collection. Introducing Star Fox 64 with Rumble Pack, only for Nintendo 64. Overload. Good game. I'm gonna grab uh, Star Fox at the very top. Whoa, look at all those games. Maybe we'll pick up a, a common game or two if they are cheap enough. Ooh, right here. Look, dude, look what we found. Whoa. What is that? Power Rangers. Which one is it? Is that Light Speed Rescue? Yeah, it's Light Speed Rescue. $7.99 for that. I think that's probably a little bit lower, honestly, than uh, retail. So we'll get that one. I think I, think I might get Wayfarers too. One of my favorite games on the N64. So freaking good. All right, so that's a that's a hit. That's a hit right there. That is 20, and then Star Fox is 20. So 40 bucks, and then the uh, 
Yu-Gi-Oh game. Ooh, here's a couple boxed Genesis games. You got Lost Vikings. I've never seen this before. And a 32X game. <laughs> you never see 32X games. 10 bucks for that. My son is being a wild man. Whoa, he's already made like a, a battle scene. How did you do that so fast? Because I just did. Let's pick up this stuff and I will update you guys here in a bit. So we just came to Walmart to see if they had any like clearance games over here in the Switch area, PlayStation, Xbox. Uh, didn't really see much, but check out what we just found, guys. Bro, what is it? Dude, it's the Power Rangers, the complete series on DVD. We just got the Power Rangers game on N64, and I had heard that this came out, but have not had a chance to pick it up, and then there it is right there. He actually spotted it. He's like, Dad, I see Power Rangers stuff. And here we are, gotta pick this up. Has nothing to do with the $10 game collection, but we now have the complete series of the Power Rangers. Yes! <laughs> so I'm actually at a Goodwill right now that I don't typically go to. Uh, it's a pretty small Goodwill. This is all of the media. So VHS, CDs, DVDs, that's it. So not very much at all, but they do have some games. None of them are marked, two bucks each. And there are a couple to talk about. So first off, you got Tomb Raider. I think I'm gonna pass on this one just because it resells for like seven bucks. I don't know, I might get that one. I'm thinking about getting getting this one, Big Mother Truckers 2. Uh, probably gonna get that one. Star Ocean, Square Enix game. It's got all three discs in there. So I'm gonna get that one. Uh, here's the big one. Scarface, the world is yours. I uh, almost didn't look this up. Guys, this thing is selling for like 40 to 50-ish. Insane, I cannot believe it. And it is in there. So definitely gonna get that one. And then I'm gonna get Red Dead just because that's always a good one to pick up. It doesn't have like a ton of value, but it's decent. This one is too scratch. I would definitely get that one, but unfortunately, a little scratch. So we got three, four, potentially five. I'll look up that, um, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pass on that one. But four games for eight bucks is pretty good, especially with that Scarface game being in there. I'll replace that case, make it look nice. Let's go. Guys, look at what just $10 has gotten us already. All of these amazing games, all of these to flip, and then we get to add our very first N64 games to the collection. Can't wait to talk about that a little bit more and to get those added onto the game shelf. So we spent $68 and one cent on all of this 6801 uh, excluding the power rangers dvd me and my son have already watched most of these already because we are power ranger freaks we love we love us some power rangers all right 6801 and as always guys i want to tell you uh value of everything that we have in here gonna go pretty quick avatar the last airbender we spent two bucks on this and there is 13 dollars in value right there now this whole lot was supposed to be 10, but one of the games was the color of the week. So it ended up being $1, nine total for all of these. You got uh, Astro Boy. I don't know anything about this game at all, but looks like a cute little fun, uh, potentially kids game or family game. That is worth eight bucks. This one is uh, the most valuable in this lot. Naruto Ultimate Ninja 3. This is complete and sells for about $13. You got Ty, the Tasmanian Devil, a really a really great game if you've never played it before. And this is worth $11. You got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, a great game right there. This one is worth $9 on that one. And then let's round it out with Crash Wrath of Cortex. Always a good one to pick up. That one is worth 12. So right here, uh, this whole lot was worth 53 bucks and we only spent nine. As you guys can see, this stuff adds up. Over here, we have four games at eight bucks total. You got Red Dead, amazing game. What is there to even say about Red Dead? Redemption, this is worth nine. Star Ocean, The Last Hope, all three discs are in here. And this is worth $10. And then you got Big Mother Truckers 2, and that's worth nine. And then the big one of the week is Scarface. The world is yours. I almost did not even look this up. So glad that I did. This is worth $38. So right here is 66 and we spent eight. And then 
uh, our our stop where we actually got N64 games. The first thing we picked up was this Yu-Gi-Oh! Destiny Board Traveler game. Now this was this is complete. The manual is in there in the game and the box. So for four dollars, I knew that that was a pretty good deal. This is selling anywhere from like. 18 to 20, even 25 on the high end. So really good, really, really great deal there. You got Wave Race. This was actually my first game I got with my N64. I got Wave Race and I got uh, Mario, uh, Super Mario 64. But this game has always been super nostalgic for me. So glad that we get to add that to the collection. Power Rangers Rescue, Lightspeed Rescue. I don't know if this is good or not, but again, we are just trying to build the biggest uh, N64 collection possible and we had to get this. We had to get this. This is actually worth $25. So 20 bucks is actually a pretty great deal, but there is no N64 collection that is complete without Star Fox 64. As soon as I saw it, I knew that we had to get this and add this to the N64 collection. So grand total at uh, Game Exchange, we spent 4901 and uh, we have $68 in value there. So grand total for the week, uh, we spent 6801 and there is $200 exactly in value. Guys, just the second episode and we already have $200 in value. Freaking incredible. Guys, I am super pumped for where we already are in the $10 game collection. From 10 bucks to 14 games already and $5.50 in the game fund, which is barely any money. We have a ton of games to, to, to sell off, but we did add three N64 games to the collection, uh, two of which being amazing games. Wave Race is one of my favorite games on the N64 and, and what N64 collection is complete without Star Fox. Now we do have those games to sell. We need to do that ASAP so we can actually get back out there and hunt for more games guys as always thank you for hanging out for watching the video if you would like the video if you are enjoying the $10 game collection series uh, subscribe if you have not already until next time peace